Welcome back to the Club and Resort Chef Auto Fire, sponsored by Tyson Fresh Meat. In the hot seat, we have Matt Azvedo, executive chef of the Peninsula Golf and Country Club in San Mateo, California. Thanks for joining us today, Chef. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Let's do this. I'm going to ask you five questions. All you have to do is answer quickly and honestly. You ready? Okay. As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> you got this. What <laughs> What is the worst menu description you've ever read or written? Ooh, um, you know, I actually ordered, I ordered a ravioli, uh, a ravioli con huevo, uh, which is just a ravioli with an egg in it, uh, okay. at a restaurant. I don't, I don't particularly name, particularly remember the name of the restaurant. And literally, the only thing on the description was just the ravioli with the egg inside. Um, and it came with like 17 different items on the pasta that, uh, none of which I'm particularly fond of. So, um, <laughs> so uh, like, I, uh, I, someone needs an editor. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Uh, so somebody at least needed to look this over and compare it. W did we have a lineup before service today? Um, so, uh, yeah, that one that I, I rarely ever said in food back because I know how heartbreaking that is for a chef, but that yeah. one, I just couldn't, I couldn't let that go. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your most embarrassing moment in the kitchen? I, when I was probably, I don't know, 25 or 26, I was, I was young. Uh, I, we had, we had emptied the fryer and uh, for some reason there's no, with all the technology we've come up with, there's no way to just filter fryer grease directly out of a fryer into a grease trap. You actually have to physically remove the grease and put it in a grease trap. And you, yeah. usually we just fill up pots with old oil. And um, I was carrying one of those pots on a cart and it slipped off the cart. Uh, and it was probably like eight to 10 gallons of dirty, greasy fryer oil that I spilled oh. all over the kitchen. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, and it was so bad that they actually had to call a professional cleanup crew to get all the grease out of every nook and cranny in that part of the kitchen. And I was just mortified. Yeah. Needless to say, I left that restaurant probably just a few weeks later. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 there was no coming back from there's that. No, but, there's really not. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, no, I bet I, you're very it, careful really when emptying the fryer oil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I bet you're very careful now emptying the fryer oil. Uh, yeah. Well, not. Yeah. That <laughs> we have experts that do that now, but uh, our, our kitchen porters are pretty pretty skilled at that now. But um, the only saving grace for me in that moment was that I uh, it didn't seem as though anybody was seriously injured from slipping on the oil. So good. You know, good. Take, take, take wind where <laughs> we can get them. <laughs> what not so obvious ingredient do you always have on hand uh seasonally it kind of depends i i uh in the spring i always i prefer to actually switch out regular garlic with green garlic we use a ton of green garlic um and those that comes from my chez panisse days i just i fell in love with it then and have yeah. never have, have always been in love with it um, and then in the fall, uh, I use a lot of, um, it's, it's, it's a really obscure ingredient, but we do a lot of like roasted squash, uh, roasted hard squashes, like winter squashes. Mm -hmm. And I really love the way that pumpkin seed oil, uh, oh. enhances the flavor of roasted squash. So in the, so in the winter, a lot of, in the spring, a lot of green garlic. And then in the fall, a lot of pumpkin seed oil. Oh, good answers. What is the weirdest gift you've ever been given? Ooh, the weirdest gift I've ever been given, huh? Um, you know, I think back to, maybe it's not so weird, but I think back to when I was a kid, uh, my mom has a sister who is a notorious, terrible gift giver. And you would think that somebody would take the hint Help over her. here. <laughs> Um, and I'll never forget when I was probably, you know, I was probably like in my early teens. Um, she got me this hideous sweater that had, it was like a brown, <laughs> it's like a terrible brown, like knit sweater. 
and crocheted, embroidered on the front was like, you know, full chest, full length of the torso. There's this goofy looking skier that's like, you know, like the embroidery that just pops off the sweater. <laughs> and uh, to this day, I'll never forget that because it was probably the ugliest gift I've ever received. In my life. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope I still have it somewhere. You really, if you do, send a picture. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might. If you could trade places with any club chef for one day, who would you choose? Hmm. I, uh, that's a tough one. Um, I think Simon Lewis at Shady Canyon Club down in uh, Orange County has a pretty sweet gig. I wouldn't yeah. mind, I wouldn't <laughs> mind having his job for a day or two. Um, and then, uh, Chef Ed Leonard uh, has that huge property down in Florida, and I think it would yeah. be a he great actually, adventure. He actually left there. He's now oh, up in he? New England. He did, yes. So he's now I in New England. I didn't know that he left, but uh, it's pretty recent. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds <laughs> like a really, like a really uh, challenging but really fun gig as well. Yes, um, so yeah, Polo is massive. Job. Yeah, um, there's also a club here uh, in San Francisco called the Pacific Union Club, and it's a city club, and. Yeah. Um, it has a really great reputation for for doing really high end food, and um, mm -hmm. that would also be a great, great opportunity. Nice, very cool. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Chef. That's it. Five questions, easy. Five questions, easy.